Hello, this is my uh, second uh, introduction about MATLAB. It's, uh, you can say it's second my lecture. Uh, I need to clarify something about uh, about uh, uh, plotting and how to make plotting and uh, to make some analysis about plotting and uh, clarify something. Okay. For example, if uh, you define x as you see my uh, previous lecture, uh, or you can use uh, if you can note here there's between any two sequence there's one so zero one two three if you need to make it as simple you can make it li like zero go to ten like now you find x okay if you need to, to 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 change the step size step size here is one between each two sequence so it's one so if you need to change to to half for example you can use zero and go to step size for example point five to 10 so we have here uh, 20 uh, values x 0 half 1 1.5 2 2.5 and go on so on to 10 all right so we have x like this clear now make y as the same function as previous y equal to okay if you need to um, make it Alongside, if you see x, it's a row vector. If you see y, it's also a row vector. So if we need to to make each value with this, each value with the corresponding in the can visualize. The, okay. If you make x transpose, okay, you find here. If you find y transpose, you can find here. Okay. If I need to make it uh, near each other, okay, okay, I'll make it in the same vector. I'll define matrix here. X transpose, y transpose. So the first one will be a column of x, and the second one of column of y. So can see here if you can uh, repeat this this is this is the equation here x times x minus 3 x times x minus 3 will find y half times half 0.25 minus 3 minus 0.5 okay this we have here x and y you can go to workspace and you will find here x and y we didn't make clear from the previous lecture so here we have 21 values because 0 is involved here all right if you need to make plot as a previous lecture but I need now to make a line directly all right okay here uh, we have this is x-axis and this y-axis the function is y square uh, x square my 3 I think all right if you can go here and if you need to go to any value just click here and you go ahead. if you can see here the step size is 0 0.5 3 3.5 I mean x here and evaluating y because the step size here of x is taking uh, if you go for x here and my in the, in the, when we define x here um, we define x as in this way so 0.5 so it will be clear if clear here the step size will be half okay if you need to make a step size for example 0.01 so the resolution will be 0.01 so it will be more more smooth this graph all right and that's um, that's what I need to say okay if uh, just go back here and plot the same but now with dots for example star dot okay if I need to do for example if I have some points like this if you have a spreadsheet from Excel or anything and you have just uh, dots for example 0 minus 3 0 minus 3 0.5 minus 2.75 this dot this one 1 and uh, 1 and uh, minus minus 2 and so on and you need to find the curve to find the equation to find the relation of these dots there's of course there's some relations will uh, lead all these points and you need to find it okay just go here to the tools and go to data statistics you'll find some very important here something it's about x and y and so on just go to tools and go to uh, basic fitting if you see this curve if you uh, of course we know the, the curve was x square my 3 so it's quadratic but if you need to just use I'll try if uh, I say it's linear no but it's not there's many errors here 
so we can't make it but okay show my equation and see it's 10x minus okay if I need to go one step further it's quadratic for example this one the line it's fit quite well it's 1x square okay be because we have x square minus 5.7 e to the power minus 15 I'll say what does mean by this it's very small number minus 3 okay this number minus 5.7 e to the minus 15 this number is 5.7 times 10 to the power minus 15 so it's very 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 small it's almost zero so you can make the zero it's just x square minus 3 as we define here so this is my relation and we find it here using uh, basic fitting toolbox if you need to plot the residual for this error it's very small very small because we have these values here all right thank you for watching i hope this uh, this brief uh, uh, clarification in matlab uh, would be helpful for you thank you for watching see you next video